What a weekend. It's not the weekend. What a week. It's actually been a normal week as well. Also, what do you think of this face or this face? I suppose it doesn't really matter. Um, the most important thing is content, which we've got normal amounts. Fantastical. Um, yeah, literally. Uh, yeah. Up the show. So, welcome. <laughs> Oddly... You know, compared to normal, I feel less prepared, which is not, you know, it's not a big deal. It's actually probably, a, it's quite a nice thing. But I was particularly proud of the thumbnail I created this week. Um, I wanted to add little sound effects. Beep, 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 beep. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I didn't have enough, uh, I don't know, legwork to do that. So, welcome everybody. Thank you for joining me again on this beautiful journey. 15 weeks now. I'm going to make 16, I assume. You know, I'm wondering, I'm interested when it gets to like 17 no, no, <laughs> 50 weeks, or like 52 weeks a year. Um, and I will be quite interested to look back and see where the painting journey's gone. Um, I've done some painting this week. I've looked at some paintings this week. Um, and I'm starting to enjoy it a bit more, a bit more. I um, I have no commitments, as it were, to in my own head of, of what I need to paint and what I need to do. Um, yeah, so basically, it's, it's, uh, commitments is, is no, maybe not the right word. Uh, or, or, or like all encompassing kind of uh, concept. It's kind of like people tell me or, or maybe not tell, but suggest, but, but tell me they're like, stop painting elder or do more skin or uh, I don't know, do scenery um, and do all these things. And, and it's weird because I, I don't think they're wrong, um, but I don't agree. <laughs> like, I think what, basically what I'm trying to go now is I, I want to go with where my heart's taking me, where the passion is. And I think for the last kind of two years or so, I've I've been learning a bit and I've, I've been learning how to paint because before that, you know, I basically knew nothing about painting whatsoever. So so that's like two years of, um, in, in a way, stress because it was taking me completely out of my comfort zone. Right. Um, so I didn't really do a model in that time that I was I was truly. I did one model in that time that I was truly passionate about, and that was the Elder um, Azurman, uh, the 75 mil from Forge World Simon Egon sculptor. And I love that model, and I wish I had more. And I can't find any uh, that are not eye painted or completely broken. So it's, it, it, it's kind of like a liberation or a feeling of freedom because I, I sat down yesterday and I looked at this big Elder model, the 30 centimeter guy. Um, and yeah, I, I just felt completely intimidated, like I wasn't going where I wanted. Uh, so I had this plan of doing a Viper, doing a jet bike, doing it super smooth, because I kind of that was where and then I just sort of, I don't know, I was like, let's just give it one go. I sat down, I couldn't make up my mind, I, I like I procrastinated on the desk, painted desk for like 20, 25 minutes. And then somehow, I think I was just looking at an artwork because I was trying to find inspiration, which I don't normally do, but I should do, I'm told I should do. Um, and there was just um, some bone on there and it was, what was it? Yeah, it was some bone. Hold on, I can show you. So there is no bone. Um, oh no, it, well, it, it's wraith bone. Uh, I'm looking at the camera, but there's no need. Hold on. Yeah, so I was looking and I, it, it just hit me like there's, it's one tone that they've used and it completely works because, um, you know, I'm actually talking about the um, this this area here, which is why one tone, and then I kind of got stumped because there's tones here. But I saw it, and I was like, I realised it just it works. It you, it doesn't need to be super fancy, super amazing. And so I just sat down and I just started painting. And oddly, um, we may as well jump into it just to to show because we well, you know we're there now, the natural feeling and all that. So this is what I came up with, like and. This is a phone camera, so it's slightly overexposed and blah, 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 and it doesn't work. Um, but I just threw paint on it, which I've been leaning towards more, and I do that a lot more in general. But at the same time, with this model, I have I started off as just a joke, like, just enjoy it, do what I want. And it ended up, like, being more than that, like it always does with me, where I couldn't just sketch on it and just be free. I really had to do what, what feels natural, which is, which is this. So, this, you know, this is basically where... We, we kind of ended up so I've gone over like a few things but do you see from this angle it, it kind of works that that because it has a slight shadow it's not well but you know you can see it's not well painted but I realized it's not important the feeling is important which I learned from this guy um 
it's the feeling that's the key the, the, the you know it, it depends what you're doing obviously like um like for me this piece and that specific area on a 30 centimeter model as well i can't be super super fine or super super um smooth um so like the helmet i've done um i wonder if i can bring a photo in oh god was i recording that whole time possibly sorry if i was <laughs> um so the helmet i've done it's like I don't know, again, they, they, it's a lot smoother than that. Those colors aren't blocked up as much, and that's because of the phone camera. Um, but but basically, like, it was meant to be super, super ketzy. And then in the end, I ended up just going really crazy with detailing. And now I'm too scared or, or don't feel like it's right to just play this kind of um, sketchy vibe. So that lent to me caring more than I thought I would about this model. And caring is in a different way, like, you know, because I don't have the skill to just sort of bash paint down and it comes out exactly. I have to spend quite a long time to find volumes and play in, probably because I'm an inexper inexperienced painter at the moment, that it takes me a long time to do that. And for the, you know, the various reasons that I've been told, like, do other things other than Elder because you'll get stuck. But I love Elder. Um, I like them a lot. And it's the only reason why I paint, honestly. I don't really care about many other things um obviously i've got the dragon head stuff so i really care about dragons and elves and obviously elder space elves so anyway I, it, when i took this over like um yeah the the thing the the loincloth with the wraith bone and the staff hadn't been touched at all um and they were just kind of outlined so that is where i'm at and and i'm, I'm i think now importantly i'm a little bit more excited to paint it uh, which I hadn't had before. I just had this fear, this overwhelming fear. And yeah, after cleaning my desk, it's given me a lot more focus. I recommend doing that. So as we jump now into, we look at things from other people. And uh, I think hopefully I gave an overview on, on where my life is uh, at. So a stroke of luck is the painter. Slightly confusing because it's not a name. I don't know who did it, but that's his name on Facebook. And that was why I found it. But it's a grumpy gardener. Um, and I have no idea if that's the real model name. I don't know who sculpted it. I don't know much about it. I do know that I like it. And I like a lot the sunset feeling. Um, I've tried to do this myself and it is not easy at all. Um, what he's doing... Gardening topless, I don't know. He, he, you know, he, he obviously wants a tan, but he's already got one. Um, and he's going to have very leathery skin, uh, is, is my opinion of this farmer. Oh, he's a gardener. He's not even a farmer. He's not even getting paid. Do gardeners get paid? Maybe they do, to be fair. But are they called gardeners then? Aren't they called, like, landscapers? I don't know. I don't know. But he needs a hair kind of trim on his beard, to be honest. Um probably new trousers it depends what country he's in uh also kind of depends what what era he's in but i'm assuming he's a modern day because i don't think they were called gardeners like 2000 years ago he does look like jesus but the paint job is very good um indeed anyway this is the angle i wanted to see yeah how he did that with fucking pinks brilliant um that is really good i sometimes you know because i don't paint skin but even if i did I still see models and I'm like, I don't know how to do that. Um, which it happens less to me now, but it certainly still happens. Like, I don't think I could bridge these tones uh, or pick those colors. I don't, it's not, I don't think, I know I couldn't. Obviously, I could give it a go. It would never work out well. Oh, little teaser. They're always with the teasers, aren't I? Sneaky fucker. Uh, yeah, it's really good. I, I could lose a lesson from this on how to paint well, volume, interpreting volumes and nipples. Nipples are important. Um, why is it? I suppose he's just got hard nipples by nature. It's not his fault. He's not aroused or anything like that. Yes, indeed. So, number two, Ivan. Oh, who did I even? Oh, yeah, of course, a stroke of luck. It was just English. Um, Ivan Mata Milego. Migo. Milgo. Ivan Mata. Mm, could be Spanish, could be like Polish or. Russian with Ivan, but then Matter feels very Spanish. Could be Milago or Milago. 
or just M- Mikel. There's no H's there. Anyway, apparently this is Wolverine, and I'm saying that because it looks like Wolverine. I couldn't see. Um, I couldn't see it in the description. Uh, I can't really talk about anything funny for this because it's quite straightforward, um, and you can't really mug off uh, a space you know, a space move. Fuck my life. A Marvel character because we could, to be fair, but. I, don't, I can't. Anyway, but I thought the sculpt was very nice. Um, and I have no idea if he's selling them, if it's under IP or what. Uh, if you want to know more information, obviously check out Mr. Ivan Matter's Facebook, if you would. Um, I believe I've included the link uh, to his Facebook where I saw it, or Instagram, I can't remember, but either or. Uh, but it's good, and I'd like to try. I think that painting a t shirt like that would be horrible for me. And so with skin, because I like non-skin things. I know I open with the whole uncomfortable, and I, I just want to do what I do. But you know, I, in a way, I would like to be able to paint skin because it wouldn't, it wouldn't, mean, it would mean I'm not restricted uh, on these guys, and also my own models. <laughs> uh, and the third one is Ricardo, R A, obviously. Um, Agostinti. Oh my gosh, Og Agostinti, Agostini, Agostini. Agostini, Ricardo Agostini, Libra is the model name. And this is from the Kickstarter. Fuck me, I've done a lot of them, but the box art is just so damn good. Um, I mean, he's a bit of a ponce for jumping around on poles, isn't he? Um, with a spear and blindfolded. I'm assuming this is some sort of ritualistic training uh, where they throw like tomatoes at her or something and she needs to jump between the different poles to avoid them. Um, a bit like gladiators from the UK, um, you know, with the travelator and stuff. But, you know, She's clearly a model professional. She's smiling, which is a little bit mugging off of the people throwing the tomatoes. Um, and she's taking them on with the fingers as well. I wonder if she gets extra points for slicing the tomatoes. She must have some sort of sixth sense or something because no one can see tomatoes uh, that easily and then and then chop them in, in midair, which is obviously a very unique skill um, that Libra alone seems to possess. And... She's gone for an orange, which is quite a good idea for cloves. The white will probably potentially get stained. I don't know what kind of stain remover they have back or, or whenever. Um, but the painting of the model is brilliant. Uh, it's orange. It's already effing hard to do. And then I love the little wispy um, vanilla clouds. Uh, I really do. I think they've, they've been painted amazingly. But the orange and the internet. To be honest, it's, it's a box art for a reason, isn't it? Um, so for Ricardo, if you're watching... I am in awe of your painting. Look at it's that little rogue facial hair there, look. Shines brighter than the rest. Weird. Going grey, I guess. Getting old, aren't we? I mean, I don't know if you're old when you're watching, but certainly I'm older now than I was 20 years ago. But yeah, I really, really... Oh, naked man. Like I'm really, really impressed. Not only impressed, I like it. I like orange. It works really well. Um, and that is what you've got. Blah DOI. Now, interestingly, that brings Hut the Show 15 to a close. I had wanted to preview my next model. Um, because I've only got three out at the moment, and this is the fourth, and I'm I'm excited to paint it myself, but it involves skin and a dragon. And uh, there are two things I'm not good at. So one part of me is very fearful. So I was going to show it, but I completely forgot. And now I'm remembering that I, I said I would. Um, and Athami's going to paint it and he's going to start quite soon. So in theory, I guess I should wait until we have a box art. But, you know, this, this show is not really for um, plugging. So I should have just shown it really, shouldn't I? But I didn't. And I'm just filling up space because we're only at 14 minutes. And, you know, what show is 14 minutes long? Probably a show that doesn't involve much. But, you know, I'm trying to stop. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get away from my just talking inherently uh, without any um, focus. Even though I want to. <clears throat> I really like it. Um, and I've got lots planned. I've got a lot of ideas in my head. Oh, this attack there from the mic, or I attack the mic. Um, a lot of ideas in my head that I want to uh, explore, but I'm also, um, I, I, I really want to get a setup where I can just hit record and then jump between things like a producer. Whereas when I walk over to the desk, uh, I have to record it on multiple things and then edit it. 
mind blown. I fucking hate editing. Um, I've still got to edit the speed painting competition with her now and Albert and myself, uh, which was fun. But I think possibly we might do a second round where we've both got a tiny bit, or all three of us have got a little bit more experience in the speed painting um, condition and uh and do it that way i think i think we can get better footage right guys thank you friday afternoon i'm sorry maybe they're always 15 minutes now they're always like 20 minutes aren't they um i think i, I think i should start bringing some more features i think what they are or any suggestions i love you all and thank you and comment and um and subscribe and ring the bell big big bing and um buy me some stuff and buy yourself some stuff and have a good evening and eat lots of food and drink and be merry. How long can I drag this on? No, see you later.